Hey, this is Brett, and this 2023 Chevy Silverado 2500 Crew Cab Short Box 1LT Z71 is stock number 14324Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy duty truck headquarters. This 2023 Chevy Silverado 2500 has the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel engine. It's the L5P engine, puts out 445 horsepower. It's paired up with the Allison heavy duty 10 speed automatic transmission. This truck has been fully safety <clears throat> safety to and inspected by our service shop. Has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. And this truck is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, take a look under the hood, give me the most accurate representation that I can of the truck, show you all the options as well. North Sky Blue Metallic is the color. I shoot all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and heavy duty truck walkarounds on YouTube. This one comes with the painted black 18 inch wheels. These are Hankook Dynapro. MT2 tires, these are LT275 70R18s. So I'd say they have probably about 60 to 70% of the tread left on them. Frame and underbody is in really nice shape. This is a one owner, clean title history, clean Carfax out of Washington state. You can see it does have the Rancho shocks, part of that Z71 off-road suspension. Front fender's in nice shape. Headlight lenses are nice and clear. The front bumper is in excellent condition. I didn't see any dents or dings in there. And it does have the LED fog lamps. I'm gonna turn all those lights on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are and that they're all working. You get the true cowl induction hood. I didn't see any dents or dings on that hood and you do get the cab lights up top. Passenger side front fender is in excellent condition as well. No dents or dings on there. And the passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes. Looks really good. North Sky Blue Metallic's got just a little bit of metal flake to it. Really a good looking color. Has some purples and you can see just how nice that paint is. As you go down this side of this 2023 Chevy Silverado, take note of how clean the body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you're far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the truck, you can see the truck, hear the truck, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. Back wheel's in excellent shape as well, and the back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. You do get these felt wheel liners, which help keep your frame and underbody looking good. Has all the remaining factory exhaust, so it hasn't been altered in any way, and absolutely no corrosion under there. Little rockers and cab corners all look really good as well. You get the nice side box steps on there. I didn't see a major dents or dings on that box. Looks really good. Coming around to the back, the rear bumper is in great shape. It does have the full towing package, which includes the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. The tailgate is in really nice condition as well. No dents or dings on there. Has the shock down assist tailgate. Very nice spray and bed liner. You get the fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package back here. You also get four pin and seven pin wiring. There's your four pin, there's your seven pin, and LED bed lights. It also comes with an auxiliary fuel tank as well. That bed liner goes onto the tailgate, which is a nice feature as well. Lifts up really easy, so it's got the easy lift assist. Going down the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. No major dents or dings on the box. And for full disclosure, this back wheel just as nice as the rest. Down the rest of the side of the truck, cab and doors all look really good. There's a look at that auxiliary fuel tank. It doesn't really say the size on there. My guess would be probably 30, 40 gallon auxiliary fuel tank there. Uh, down the rest of the side of the truck, doors and cab all look really good. It does have the telescopic tow mirrors, LED side lights. These are heated and they do have built-in directional signals. They telescope out like that and fold in like that. Take a quick look at the back seats. Back seats are in fantastic shape. No rips, no tears. Back here, it does have the latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. Fixed glass rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These headrests fold down for better visibility when nobody's back here. And these seats are in really nice shape. They fold up like so. You get a winter front back here and some auxiliary wiring and zip ties and stuff. Two USBs and a 12 volt power point. Get the heavy duty rubber floor back here and it's almost a completely flat floor, which is really nice. And you do get the child safety locks on the back doors inside and bottoms of the doors all look really good on this truck. 
Here is the VIN sticker, no previously owning Canada vehicles here. And then the trailering information sticker, as well as the tire and loading information. Inside the 1LT package gives you the black cloth interior, the 40-20-40 split bench seating in the front. No rips, no tears on the seats. Smells very clean inside this truck. You do get the power driver seat with lumbar and the heavy duty rubber floors up here as well. Auto headlamps, push button four wheel drive, cargo lamps, fog lights, and dash control. Power windows, locks, and mirrors. You get that wood grain trim on the door. And uh, we'll hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this truck has to offer on the interior. You can see this one has 17,514 miles on it. You do get a compass display on there. Information center is very nice and clean. You get a heated leather wrap steering wheel, Bluetooth and information center controls on the right, cruise controls and heated steering wheel controls on the left. There's your shifter for that Allison 10 speed automatic transmission. And then this is your Chevy infotainment system. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities as well as Bluetooth capabilities on there. And then you have all your different apps. It has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Why that's kind of neat is because if you have a nav system on your phone, you can project it right to the screen because it's the factory navigation system and we can check out the camera as soon as we start it up. Um, but those are all your different apps. And then down here, your more tactile volume tuning, climate controls, your heated seat buttons, uh, dual climate controls, factory exhaust brake, power drop down tailgate, hazard lights, stability control, and downhill assist control. Factory brake controller, another USB-C, USB, and 12 volt power point here as well. And then you get your keyless entry here with the remote start and power drop down tailgate. Passenger side floor, glove boxes, and seat are in excellent kill rips, tears on there. The headliner is in very nice condition as well. Once again, smells very clean inside this truck. I don't think it's been smoked in. OnStar and SOS button and map lights. We'll start it up and take a look under the hood. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. And then your backup camera shows up right there and that is working nicely, other than the hood's open. Show you those LED side lights as well. And that turns on the box lights like so. And then the LED side lights there. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you've been able to verify the quality condition options and of course cleanliness of this truck all the way around inside. Now see they have put LED lights in the headlights and the fog lights are all working nicely as are the cab lights up top. Under the hood we have the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel engine. This is the L5P engine, 445 horsepower. Engine base very clean, runs very smooth. Once again this truck has been fully safetyed and inspected by our service shop has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. There is the emission sticker. That cowl induction hood, air comes in there, goes down to the air box right there. And those shocks are doing a nice job holding that hood up. I would highly recommend this truck from a quality and condition standpoint. I'd ship this one back to Washington, Florida, California, Texas, New York, whoever's going to get this truck is going to be very happy with it. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we've got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. If you want to check out more HD videos, go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and heavy duty truck walkarounds on YouTube. Back in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Chevy 2500 truck videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this Ultra Clean 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 Crew Cab Short Box 1LT Z71 in North Sky Blue Metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.